Hey, I hope you're good. It's Chris here for Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning Everybody Hurts by REM. Okay, so Everybody Hurts by R.E.M., a really, really great song, and this is number two on my top 60 finger-picking songs to learn of all time. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure you do. There's a link in the description. Uh, you, can, you can watch it there, and there's 60 finger-picking songs from beginner to advanced, and I'm working my way through and teaching every single one of the songs. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in learning all of these songs and many, many more finger-picking tunes. So anyway, Everybody Hurts by R.E.M., <laughs> So the first part, really, it's not too tricky. You've just got a D chord and a G chord, okay? So really good song to learn if you're still quite new to finger picking. So I'll just play the first part for you. Okay, so it's just D and then to G, like this. Okay, so if we're holding down the D chord, with our right hand, we're actually kind of, we're in 6-8 time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6-8, six, 12-8. Um, so, holding down that D chord with my thumb, I play the D string, and then you just pick right the way down. So, you play the D, G, B, E. Okay, D, G, B, E. It's going thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, and that rule applies where your bass notes, so on the E string, the A string, and the D string, it's always going to be a thumb. On the G string, it's always going to be a first finger. On the B string, it's always going to be a second finger. And on the high E string, it's always going to be your third finger here, okay? So we pick down D, G, B, E, and then back up, B, G. So that's one, two, three, four, that's what I mean when I say six eight time, that there's six eighth notes per bar. And if you don't know anything about time signatures, don't worry about it. I mean, your ear will guide you through, so really don't worry too much about it. So, D, G, B, E, B, G. Okay, so that's it, and you do that twice. Six beats per bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Okay, and then we change to a G chord. Okay, um, and I'm in this time you want to have your third finger down, so you don't want to play the traditional way, kind of like this. You want to have your third finger on the third fret of the B string. Okay, and then your pinky underneath that, and then your second finger on the low E string third fret. You can put this finger on if you want to, but you don't play that string, so you you don't really need to do it. I just play like this. So once we're on this, we play D, sorry E skip to the D string, and then the G. So that's thumb, thumb, first, E, D, G. Okay, then we flip to our third finger on the high E string, and then the B string, and then the G string. So we go up, E, B, G, fingers three, two, one. And really make sure you're using the right fingers, because it will lead to great technique in the future, the more advanced you get. So once more, that's E, D, G, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, thumb, one, and then E, B, G, three, two, one. So, and you do that twice. Back to D, and you do that all again. So D, twice, and then the G, twice. And you do that twice. So you go D, G, D, G. So let's just play up to there once more. Ooh. Back 
back to the day G Okay, so on this time round you play the G just once and then we've got this Okay, so you've got this nice little walk down it's walking kind of bass line down to the E minor chord and from there you've got an E minor chord and an A chord, alright? So, on this, once you've done the G once, there you go. So, I play, holding down this G chord, I play the E string, the D, and then the G, okay? That's bum, bum, one, and then walk down, and I play the second fret, this F sharp note on the E string. And it's exactly the same with the right hand, so. Okay, so I'm just going to play the G there. Okay, so you probably want to isolate that part and practice it. Okay, and then that leads on to an E minor chord. Now the pattern here, you play the E, A, D, E, A, D. You can use your thumb for all of that, but I actually tend to kind of, I mean, it's, it's absolutely fine to do this but probably most books would tell you not to do it, but it's it really is okay. In my opinion, it's fine. I tend to actually play thumb, thumb, and then first finger on the D string like this. But if you'd rather go thumb, 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 then that's absolutely fine. So play around with it and just see what works best for you. I just naturally do that. So E, A, D, and then you skip right up to the high E string and play E, B, G. Okay, so E, A, D, B, sorry, E, A, D, E, B, G. And you do that twice. So let's just go from the G into that E minor. So slowly. Okay, so I hope you got that. There's just one more chord, A major. Okay, so and it's the same thing, but you've just kind of changed it and transferred it over to an A chord. So I play A, D, G, and here I'm going thumb, thumb one. A, D, G, and then to the high E string, and down three, so E, B, G. And you do that twice, A, D, G, E, B, G. to E minor, twice more, and then A, okay, and then you're back. So on that last day, you just do it once, and then you play the A string on the one beat of that next bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And then you're back to the beginning again, okay? so. I'm just going to go from the walk down from the G into that E minor and play that through really slowly for you. So the walk down in G, E minor, to A, down, down, E minor, it comes the A chord, get ready for the stop, stop, back, back to the D. Okay, so that's it really, that's it for, the, for this part, it's the intro and it's the beginning, it's the verse and uh, into, the, into the first chorus. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson, I really hope that you enjoyed. If you want to get the rest of the song, all you have to do is click the link in the description, that's going to take you through to the site and there you can get all the other parts of the song with tab as well. So make sure you go check that out uh, and if you enjoyed this lesson, please give me a thumbs up, perhaps leave me a comment if you have any questions at all and subscribe for lots more useful finger picking guitar lessons. And if you're interested in taking Skype lessons with me, all you have to do again is click the link below, you can book up some lessons and we can take your playing to the next level. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Cheers.